We're interrupting this program in order to begin our regularly scheduled broadcast. Thanks for watching the Lit TV Network. All right. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everybody, wherever you are in the world. I am your host, Kim Warner, and I'm bringing you a dynamic message today, something that you want to grab a hold to. Um, I have Easy from Easy's uh, Trading Lounge and Twyla Prenda with Cash Kids. I'm going to start with Easy. Easy, what do you do? Can you tell the people? Yes, basically, I am an options trader. An options trader is a person who uh, up trades on a stock market. Um, the stock market is based out of New York, but um, I trade in my home. So I am a full-time day trader. Right. And I'm right. sorry. Go ahead. No. Yeah, so um, that's what I do. I'm an options trader. You know, they have a day trader. They have swing traders. They have um, scalpers. But I am a, officially a day trader. That's my full occupation in my home, doing it from the time the market opens. And that's at 9, 9.30 a.m to four o'clock p.m eastern time so officially options trader all right twyla i am twyla primo as you know um, i'm with cash kids cash kids we teach k-12 through students to master money skills early so they can lead struggle-free lives and thank you for having me miss kim all right surely so tell us what options is about. Educate us on options easy. I know that Twyla is in your class. Yes, yes. Options is a, a derivative from stocks. Um, any company that they have uh, on the um, on on the um, um, on the stock exchange, they all have options like Apple. Um, so on and so on and so on. Um, tech, everything derived from um, st um, stocks, but you make a whole lot of money from options, you know, and options are calls and puts. Calls are when the market is bullish and going up, puts are when the market is going down. So uh, I don't want to make it technical. I want a six year old, my granddaughter, to know what options are. So I don't make it complicated, but basically in a nutshell is calls and puts. Um, there are strategies to do on options, but technically calls and puts when market goes up, you can get in on it when the market's going down and on certain, all the companies that have options, you can play. So um, you can ask another question, but primarily that's where, that's where it starts from. All right, Twyla, you want to jump in and add what you know concerning the options? Yeah, sure. I mean, it's well, everything you learn that... even from um easy. Yeah, yeah. So it's pretty much everything that he said, of course. But <clears throat> I can add that I have um learned a lot from um easy being in his room. Um, his room is um very community focused. So like he said, even a six-year-old, he wants a six-year-old to be able to understand it. But like in the room, there are so many different people in there that, you know, no matter where you are. So let's say you come in and you've never traded before, you still have the community there to help you. There's a discord. There's all these other things that you can tap into, women's groups, so on and so forth. Um, and it's free. It's in Clubhouse. So um, a little bit how I got started, as you know, um, I learned about it from a church organization I was a part of, and I just remember us doing this trade, and that was like one of my first trades, and I couldn't figure out, because I just knew to buy shares. I didn't know anything about options, and so um, I just know these people made all this money, and I was like, but well, how? I bought the same stocks. I didn't make anywhere near that, and so that's how I started learning about options, took a class, ended up in another group. Um, that's where I met Easy, and um, then he started his group. But he's been right. in helping 
Um, he has a, he's very um, free with information, um, very giving, even before he started his room, um, he's a person that you can call on if you don't know something and he's always ready, willing and available to help you and explain things to you. Um, things about the market, um, sending you news articles, so on and so forth. Um, letting you know here's some ideas of different things you can play or different calls or puts that you can buy. Um, so he's been really good at that. And I have to add too, with my kids that I have on Fridays, he's been good about um, giving me advice on um, you know, what way I need to move with them because they're interested in the stock market. So I've let them listen in on um, his room and on the women's group room um, just so they can learn more as well. Okay, so that's great. Uh, Easy, where would you begin to tell the audience, maybe there's viewers that are or have been thinking about options or they only knew about stock like myself, if you were directing me or the audience, how would you get us started? Basics like your six year old granddaughter, how would you begin to get us started? So, you know, that we can understand how to move forward with that. Okay, first and foremost, I will tell you definitely to educate yourself. Um, look at tutorials on what are options. You know, you can go to Google University, you can punch punch in options and it will give you bit by bit, step by step on what options are. Before you even put your money into the market, I tell my, my I don't call them students, I tell my, my group that always learn first. So there's tutorials on it. You can know what calls and puts are. Um, um, there are charts that needs to be uh, uh, done. There's articles. So basically, just go to tutorial, look at what calls and puts are, come to my room on Clubhouse. Um, my room is called Easy Trading Lounge. We're there every day from nine o'clock a.m. to the close of the market. So to, 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 to be in surrounds with people who are doing the same thing you are, it's like a basketball team, you know, they go, they go, they practice and everything, and it's 10 of them. The same thing with uh, um, my room options. You know, we can we can do the same thing as a basketball team. We collectively uh, get in the market. We look at articles, we look at charts to determine if it can go up or down. Um, you don't have to start with a lot of money. You know, you can start with $100, $50, whatever, it's up to you. But I want people to learn. So. Uh, there's certain platforms you can learn paper trade. You don't have to use your money. Like um, Think of Swim, um, TD Ameritrade. They, ha they have uh, uh, platforms where you can use paper money. I always say, if you are a new beginner, use Robinhood. Robinhood is a good start to use, but it's, it's, it's friendly, it's user friendly. And um, we are here in my group to let you know how how it's been done, you know. We just don't toss you out to the water that you that let you that you drown. No, we help you. And um, I mean that, that that's it. I mean basically that's it. You know, we will help you, um, guide you. This is a, a great way of earning money. Uh, I paid my house off with this with the stock options. Um, I got businesses that I take out from the market and put into other adventures like barber shops, uh, um, um, salons, um, vending machines, ATM machines, whatever the money's from the market I can get, I put it to use outside of trading. So this is, this, this can be somebody 40 acres in a mule, you know, instead of just trying to do everything, this can be one-stop shop and you could take all that money and go other places and do other things. Okay. Um, one of the things that I hear is um, that's phenomenal is that you do not support codependency. I hear you saying that you uh, push people to learn and you give them information, but you allow them to learn for themselves. Um, I think that's important in this time because people will try to um, latch on as they do in organizations where someone can be 
their uh, lead instead of them learning how to lead themselves. So um, that I think is awesome. Um, you're a teacher, I would say, but teachers teach you how to fish. If you don't yeah. know how to put the hook on a fish, then you may not eat for some time until you learn how to hook that fish. And, and guess what? And guess what? And one thing, one thing I don't do, I don't charge for anything. Anything that you mm -hmm. hear is F R E E. And um, I push that in my group. If you ever came to my 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 my, my group, everything <clears> is free. We don't charge nothing. There's people out here is charging a whole lot of money for all this. But everything that you hear is free. So all you got to do is apply yourself as an individual in order to learn. As they say, many are called and a few are chosen. This will weed mm -hmm. out those ones. Trust me. This will weed out the ones who really want to. Not just for a handout. So I push that in my group. This is free. So if you don't do your due diligence, then I can't run to your house and knock down your door and grab your phone, your computer, and 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 trade. No, you can do it for yourself. I don't count nobody money. We don't count nobody money in there. If you there every day, every week, every month, you are losing money and you are gaining money. That's the nature of the game. Period. But there's a ways to stop you from losing a lot of money. You understand me? And that's a whole another segment. But primarily learn 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 before you jump out the window with money and i land my plane okay land your plane okay i like that okay now tell us a little bit more about paper trade so that we can know how to educate ourselves or um, going into that process rather than starting with money so that okay. people can learn how to trust their decisions. Yes, there are. Uh, there's a platform that's called TD Ameritrade or TOS. They both the same. Um, they have a platform where you can trade money, a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, whatever monies they have available. But it's paper money, and as you're learning how to do it, you are learning how to do it. If that makes sense. You know, so before you put your hard-earned dollar in it, you know, it's paper trade. TOS is mm -hmm. Think or Swim. That's one of the app, Or TD Ameritrade. That's the platform that they have. I think the other ones have it as well, like uh, Fidelity and Charles Schwab. But mainly, TOS is a good app to, uh, to learn from before you jump out the window. And once again, be around people who's doing the same thing you're doing. So if you're doing something wrong, listen, no, do it like this. And guess what? I'm not going to charge you anything. It's free. F-R-E-E. -E. I can't stress that enough. But people don't know, oh, somebody's going to come behind the curtain and say $39.99 a month. Nope. Not in my room. Not on my watch. Everything is free. So you take your due diligence and you apply yourself. And anything you do, trust me, you'll be successful. Beautiful. Um, it reminds me of, so you know, I get into the mythological aspects and the philosophical aspects of what we're talking about, where the cow and the bull came from over in Europe and um, highlighting to see um, it in the Bible where people had taught us uh, that the children of Israel were worshiping um the, the calf, putting it back together, not realizing that they weren't worshiping it, but they were going back to a place where they knew something would work for them. And the reason that I wanted to bring you on is because there was a time back in history in the 1920s when we had Black Wall Street. Um, it went back further than 1920s, but to look at um, the derivatives of what's happening and what has happened over the decades. Um, we have uh, the bull down in front of uh, Wall Street, but in most cases, we don't study to find out about that calf that they were speaking about in the Bible. It's so connected because the philosophers talked about a lot of things that we use to make money or we overlook to make money. So my point is, you know, it's wonderful to know that, first of all, you got paper trade.
to exercise your ability to learn before you invest. That's a new way of thinking. Um, as in the children of Israel always going backwards. Paper trade takes us forward so that we can actually learn. And honestly, having you all here gives us more um, understanding to think more about stocks also to get into options. I remember maybe 10 years ago when I started investing in stocks that I had never heard of options. Um, I connect uh, with Twyla and she's telling me about options and I'm saying, what is that? So to me, this is a forward, progressive type of information that helps us. And forward uh, information is so necessary so that we don't get the same thing, failing at it, but see the promotion of doing something different. All right. Yes, I agree. I agree. I Why can, um, I can relate to okay. that. No, go ahead. What were you saying? No, he said, I, said he can that relate. I can relate to that. I can relate to that. I can. Yeah, I think that um, <clears throat> there's so, like, even though we are talking about options, there's so many different ways that you can trade in the stock market. And I do think um, it's very, um, what do you say, like instrumental in teaching our young people because, like I said, I've incorporated into um, the classes that I teach uh, my young people. And so I've even started with kindergarten, you know, just always thinking of ways, okay, well, how can we get this information? Because as you know, um, the younger that you teach them, the more it can become a habit. Um, so I think that um, what he was saying about <clears throat> 40 acres on a mule or reparations or whatnot, this is part of how we get it. I also wanted to add to that. I know we've discussed in the past that um, I just think that there's a lot of us that want to start businesses. And sometimes what holds us back is they say, okay, well, one, I don't have time or I don't have the money, um, but I just feel like the stock market is a way, it's like the cheapest business you can start. You don't need a whole lot of overhead. You don't need other staff or employees. You just need to take the time um and and just learn the information and especially like there's so many resources out there now as easy said that there's really no excuse not to know i mean you have youtube you have clubhouse you have all these different resources where you can learn this thing and it's no different than you're starting a business so some people may say i don't have time i don't want to do that but you still have to do that like even if you go out and start any business one, you got to raise money, you got to have capital, you got to learn the business, especially if it's a franchise or something. You have to take time and sit down and learn that. So to me, this is just um, a great business, even if you want to start it on the side, because it's something that you don't have to like sit there and monitor, like even in options anyway, well, with any of it, really, I mean, you can buy it, but like you said, the market is open from 930 to 4. It doesn't mean you have to sit there from 930 to 4. You can just okay, I bought this, you can put in a stop loss or say, okay, well, I don't, I want to make this amount or I don't want to lose this amount. And you can just put it in there and then you can go on about your day. So it's so many different ways. And I just think this is just a great opportunity for anyone who wants to start a business. Um, okay. Can I interject? Can I interject? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Um, I first started to learn this, right? In <laughs> 1996. You know, when I was um, out there in the streets and um, doing whatever, somebody taught me how to do it. They were telling me, listen, there's another way. You know, my mentality wasn't there at first. You understand? So when I when I was learning, I was like, wow, this is this is something new. Something I never, I mean, I saw, I, I lived, lived in New York, I saw people on Wall Street with the suits and everything, but apparently it wasn't for us to do so the guy taught me how to do it and at the time i was in my home in new york sitting with a big old computer with charts and everything manually getting the wall street journal you know circling things for the next day it was and had to call charles Schwab on my phone but now fast forward technology caught up to the stock market so i could be anywhere with a device doing this, you understand me? So that's how advanced that uh, is, is lucrative to, to, and easier now. 
Back then, I had to stay home. If I go to the store, I had to run back home and make sure my money was good. Now I could be anywhere. I could be at Twilight House. I could be in your studio, still trading with, with no problem. So I just want to emphasize how from 30 years and 30 plus years ago, how it trans transformed to where, where we are now. That's an important fact because corporations and the times changing, um, there's so much of seeming losses and I teach seeming because there's always a way to transform a situation. It's just gaining knowledge like this on how you can if you feel that and i feel like I, I i believe that the feeling comes from spirit somebody will say something like in that experience that you had someone came up and said pretty much not ver verbatim change your thinking and then you can change your reality and so you exactly. you heard them and you saw and i'm sorry no i'm saying exactly the mindset go ahead yes and so you saw um, the opportunity, but you didn't only see the opportunity back. It seems like I think you said, was that over twenty or thirty years ago? Yes, I just want to say the right number. Nineteen ninety-six. Okay, that's about so twenty or thirty years. 30. Yeah. Um, so I do um, astrology on that. So you're in that cycle where you're seeing that the uh, forward movement has upgraded, as you said, and brought in the technology where it's even easier for people from 2020, um, where life had changed so, and there was a halt in America, nothing was moving. Um, I'm sure that you saw the movement in that area. How did that work out, by the way? Thank you, 2020 stop and, and options. How did it work out? Um, it was amazing. It was amazing. A lot of people made a whole lot of money during the uh, pandemic in the market, everything was going up, 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 up. You know, well, I should say it's go both ways, but you can make money going up and make money going down. You understand? So right. it was real lucrative. Mm -hmm. lucrative. I mean, it's, it's always lucrative. It's always an opportunity. You know, I'm an opportunist when it comes to this market. You know what I mean? I don't, I, I'm a gunslinger, meaning that if I see a trade and in alignment, what you said, spiritual alignment, if it's in alignment, I'm there, I'm in it. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to tell me once or twice. But once again, I'll go back to the fundamentals. You know, learn, learn, learn. And I can't stress that enough. And I lay in my plan again. Hey, I love that. I'm going to use it with your um, permission. Twyla? <laughs> uh huh. Go ahead. Um, I don't have very much to add with that. Like, I mean, you guys are right. It is a mindset. Um, you do have to do some mind shifting um, as it relates, and you do have to be open. Um, as you are learning, there are so many um, things you may think about or think you know or moves you may want to make. The benefit of being in a community and even being in a room is you know, you can be thinking one way and then someone else comes out and, and says something different and it makes you realize something. Um, you know, like, for example, like you said, you can make money going both ways. You can make money when um, a company is doing well and you can make money when a company is not. And a lot of times, well, I just use myself, for example, I can remember being in companies as they were going up and I knew they were going down, but I didn't play it going down. I was like, what was I thinking? And nor did it cross my mind to do it. But being in a room was like, oh, yeah, I should have put some of that, <laughs> you know. So, um, you know, it does take some getting used to, but it's just so much that you can learn. And that's what I love about being in a community um, trading, because you get to hear so many different people's um thought their um how they do things as well as you have um different people who are trading different things you know we all have different backgrounds and different experiences so um sometimes you gravitate towards those things that you know but being in a community of people then you um learn about other things or things you may not have looked at or things you may know like wait a minute i do know about that industry why am i not playing that industry or trade in that industry so i'm gonna say i land my plane too okay ricky's here 
Easy, how you doing, sir? Um, I ha I have a question for you. Yes, sir. If I can pick your if I can pick your brain while you're here, what's your take on NFTs and um Bitcoin? Um, I don't play. Uh, I do play NFTs. I don't I don't play Bitcoin. I'm strictly an options trader, but uh, there are stocks that uh, uh, entwined with Bitcoin. You know, like uh, a hut. H U T, like Coinbase, C O I N, like Mara, M A R A, you know, like Riot, R I O T. Those tickets that I just uh, told you, they are in line. So if Bitcoin going up, they will follow that lead, you know. Mm -hmm. So those four or five tickets I, I, I just said, they will follow that. So Bitcoin, no, but the uh, actual options on those Mara, Riot, coin and hut i do do that thing so i can train them the way i think so they could be better uh, uh traders like for example uh twala she's a good student she definitely listens she definitely observant she definitely put things into motion if she don't know something she ask and i like that and i land my plane once again all right all right, wonderful. So we are going to be wrapping up. Um, if we want to have you back on, would you come back on again? Look at yes, your yes, definitely. Yeah. Yes. He ain't even been in my show for like four weeks. Okay. Ricky, so got, more Ricky got some more questions. Well, tell them how to contact you. I got to be real with the audience. We ain't no fake stuff over here. Now he know he my boy, and my producer. I'm like, look at this here. What the yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Cash Kids, you can re you can um, go to our site, which is cashkids.org. As you see, there's Cash with a K. Um, you can also uh, reach us on our social media on Instagram, which is Cash Kids, and that is two S's on the end. So K S H K I D S S for um, Instagram. So those are the two ways. And of course, you know, you can always um on our site reach out to the contact page and that's how you can get in contact with us great and i really want you guys to come back so that the uh, families will know how the children can get involved so that we get ahead with our our generations okay yes so yes. i know yes. that that's important to me what you all are doing in conjunction there so we'll set up another time on the back end and um, we'll let Ricky come with the question. All right? Yeah, because I'm, I'm ready. I got it now. I'm ready. And you know, one one thing that I like, right? Before we wrap it up, people ask a question. As my father used to say, a closed mouth don't get fed. You understand me? So no question is dumb. No question is slow. Open your mouth. Ask the question. If I don't know the answer, I will get it for you. So it won't be no humming, humming, humming. I'm guessing. I you understand? So 